the voice from the bushes. Doneen Bull Davis, who lives on the Louis Bull Tribe Reserve in Alberta, Canada, is relaxing at home one evening with her family. Suddenly, they begin to hear strange sounds coming from the dense thicket of bushes in their backyard. But they don't see anything there. What happens next is truly creepy. Doneen and her family all hear the same spine-chilling sound of a raspy little voice coming from somewhere in their backyard. The voice just doesn't sound normal. And then things really start to get weird. Well, come out so I can see you. Come out. Come on. Come out. Come. DJ. Come on up! Shut up! Come on! Hey, this is off! What's wrong with you? What? What? The creepy voice seems to mock the family, mimicking what they say and eerily laughing at them while hiding in the bushes. But believe it or not, the situation takes an even more terrifying turn. Come on out! Why not? Yeah, come on out! Come on! Come on! Oh, out. Yeah, let's leave! Just go grab that gun. No. Whatever is hiding in the bushes now asks, wanna play? And with that, the family has now just had enough. They call the local police to their house and Dunin shows them the footage that she has recorded. The officers scout through the bushes, looking for the threatening stranger. One of the officers also hears the raspy little voice mocking him. But even though he says the voice sounds right next to him, he says he didn't see anyone in the bushes. Donine says that to this day, this disturbing event remains unexplained. Many video commenters believe that this could be some kind of creature roaming the Louis Bull Tribe Reserve. But what do you think this creepy voice could be? Hiding among the graves. Nuke's top five viewer Savannah Escoto says that she had a very strange experience when she took her four-year-old daughter Isabella to visit her brother's grave at the San Fernando Cemetery in San Antonio, Texas. What is it? Come here. Why don't you want to go sit down over there? You're scared of what? What this girl shadow? What girl shadow? What's that? Behind the tree. Behind the tree? Yeah. Little Isabella says that she sees, quote, a girl shadow behind a tree in the cemetery and comes hurrying back to her mom. When Savannah turns her camera toward the tree, she catches what appears to be a face from behind the tree. The face seems to be translucent as cars passing on the road behind can be seen right through it. So is this the girl shadow that little Isabella was afraid of? Her mom Savannah isn't sure what to think of this creepy experience and she has no idea who or what this is. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Prized 
possession. This next creepy video was shared on the popular Spanish language podcast, Podcast Paranormal, by guest and paranormal investigator Antonio Zamudio. On the podcast, Antonio tells the story of Augusto, an 11 year old boy who started behaving very oddly after buying a strange looking doll at a garage sale. The little boy became obsessed with the toy, staying up all night and talking to the little doll. After hearing unexplained voices in their house, Augusto's mother had had enough. She threw the doll away. But the doll mysteriously reappeared three days later at their home, lying at the foot of Augusto's bed. Paranormal investigator Antonio sets out to help the family and installs several static cameras throughout the home. The doll is placed in the hallway just outside the little boy's bedroom as he goes to sleep. The static camera recording the hallway catches something downright chilling. Soon after the boy falls asleep, the doll begins to move and then seems to actually run to the 11 year old's bedroom. Antonio and the family are shocked when they watch the footage. The investigator decides to take the doll from the family and has kept it locked away at his home ever since. So could the doll be possessed by a spirit? Or just what do you think happened here? Let me know. Unstable. This next strange video was recorded by a CCTV camera in a horse stable, but the location of the stable and the original source of the footage are unknown. The video shows a horse in its stall, relaxed and peaceful. But around 2.39 a.m., there's an odd dark flash across the CCTV camera. And then all hell breaks loose. Something unknown disturbs the horse so much that it panics and actually breaks right through its stall. But that's not all, because as the horse roams loose in the stable, what happens next is truly bizarre. The horse lingers at a different stall, disturbing one of the other horses as it kicks and makes panic noises. The horse then seems to angrily attempt to leap over into the other stall with that horse. The stable owner says that this incident is one of the weirdest things he's ever experienced with one of his horses. Now this video was shared to TikTok and comments mentioned that the culprit might be uh, Jen. 
as apparently it is said that jinns will often torment horses. And there was also that odd dark flicker in the camera footage. So paranormal or not? Really without a source, we'll never know what happened here. And maybe this horse just randomly lost its damn mind. The Passenger Taxi driver Jarek from Baguio, Philippines is working the night shift when he spots a woman on the side of the road who needs a lift. What happens next is something he'll never forget. Scout Barrio Sabi. May sumakay ka rin na, wala. We can see the taxi door open and close and Jarek swears a woman wearing a long white and purple dress stepped into his taxi, requesting to be taken to Scout Barrio, a neighborhood in the city. After a short drive, he looks into his rearview mirror to discover that there's no woman in his car. She has disappeared. He's baffled and looks around the back seat in startled disbelief. Jarek says he was tired and never got a good look at the woman's face, but he's certain a woman got in his car. So could it be that Jarek gave a taxi ride to a spirit? Or just what do you think was happening here? The Ding in the Caves Nuke's top five year Raul Garcia Ogando reached out to me about something that his son caught on camera while exploring an old mine in El Paso, Texas. Did you see it? As Ryle's son pans the camera, someone or something can be seen hiding in the darkness of the cave. Raul explains in his email that he didn't see anything at the time and didn't notice the figure until they looked back at their videos later. So what is this? Let me know. A mystery in the mirror in Morocco. Nuke's top five viewer Carlo reached out to me about a strange video recorded by his sister Grace during a trip to Morocco. Grace and her husband are at the Riyadh La Russa Hotel in Fez, Morocco. Grace decides to take a video of the beautiful 17th century palace style interior. What happens next is truly bizarre. This is the door going inside. And this is going outside. We're now heading to the... Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. A 
man appears out of nowhere, startling Grace so much that she apologizes for almost walking into him. Now here's where it gets weird. When taking a closer look at the footage, Grace and her husband can clearly be seen in the reflection of a mirror hanging on the wall in front of them. But there's no man. Then in a split second, the man appears right in front of her, standing quietly. Grace then turns towards the exit and we see her reflection again in a different wall mirror. But again, the standing man is not there. She turns around and the man is gone. Now finally, perhaps this is just normal camera blur, but when taking a close look at the man's face in the video, something just doesn't look quite right. But you decide on this. So did Grace capture a paranormal event on camera? Could this be a so-called glitch in the matrix? Either way, let me know what you think. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Your car's extended gen warranty. Popular Jordanian paranormal investigator Hassan Barbar is exploring an abandoned location somewhere in the middle of nowhere, when suddenly he hears the sound of his car alarm going off in the distance. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> Now obviously Hassan wants to know what triggered the car alarm and he heads back to check it out. What happens next was all captured live on Snapchat. Something jumps out at Hassan, absolutely scaring this out of him. He eventually regains his composure, but when he looks around the car, he finds nothing and no one. Unfortunately for Hassan, this isn't the end. Hassan's car seems to just drive away on its own, eventually coming to a stop a little way down the road. Hassan is shocked by the bizarre experience as he once again finds no one in or around his car. The investigator has had enough. He ends his live stream and drives home, presumably wanting to be sure that his car doesn't just drive home without him. So did Hassan capture creepy gen activity live on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Old Sacred Heart Restaurant employee Nikki works at Ozone Pizza, located in the old abandoned and restored Sacred Heart Hospital 
in Pensacola, Florida. The hospital was built way back in 1915, and except for the pizza restaurant, the large structure is mostly empty. It's said that the old hospital is haunted by former patients and the ghosts of nuns who work there. It's 11.30 at night and Nikki decides to go on a walk around the hospital with his co-workers after their shift. That's when the group spots something very creepy. Oh my God. You see it? You see it? It had arms. No, those are arms. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's a real person. No, those are arms now. No, those are arms. No, those are arms. No, no, I don't care. Those are arms. She has a gun hat on, I see it. That's fing arms. The building is completely empty, yet someone can be seen standing behind a window. The group freaks out and have no idea who or what it could be. Nikki and his friends believe that the creepy apparition might belong to one of the nuns who used to work in the hospital. And a close-up of their capture does indeed look a bit like a thin woman who could be dressed in a nun's habit. But again I ask, what do you think this is? You decide. The dark thing in the basement. TikTok user Will Graves is home alone when he starts to hear the disturbing sound of someone walking around in his basement. Now, Will believes his house to be haunted, so he starts recording and cautiously heads downstairs to check it out. Okay, TikTok. So, my power is out at the moment in the basement. I swear I keep hearing someone walk. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's kind of creepy. Laundry room still has power, so that's good. But the, uh, the rest of the basement's power is completely out, which is very strange. I'm not sure what that noise was, but I don't know. I'm home alone right now, so I guess. Look out back. No, nothing back there. I don't know. There's been a lot of strange things happening. Figures, shadows. So, I don't know. Maybe some tips, advice would help out. I can't really see anything, but uh, there's no one in here. Did you see it? As Will walks downstairs into his basement, someone can be seen standing inside his bathtub, weirdly just facing the wall. When Will looks back into the bathroom about 30 seconds later, the figure has completely disappeared. Will says that he's done several paranormal investigations at his local cemetery, and he believes something might have followed him home. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Thanks so much for watching. As always, my schedule is weird, so please hit subscribe and also hit the little bell notification icon so you never miss a video. Follow me on the socials if you've got some random comments because most of the time I answer. Or if you say something horrible, I block you. But one of the two.